What is going on everybody? This is your boy Man Up. I'm coming at you with one more video today. Miss Keisha BG at Bratz 2021 ATL was replying to Jig Jiggy J2. If we're not married, it's my child and I don't have to give my child that I care for nine months the last name of a man who ain't my husband. He is just a father and there's no long ties to him. Even if we are married, I don't need to give my kids my husband's last name. It's 2021. <sighs> I got to say, Miss Keisha BG, you're not going to have a, a successful relationship. You're not. <laughs> With this kind of thinking, you're not. Because you're going to create all kinds of problems just thinking like this. No matter what you do, you're not going to have a successful relationship with anybody. Keisha BG at Bratz 2021 ATL. What y'all women don't realize is men carry these babies more than y'all do. We carry these babies in our nutsack. And then, you, then you're going to capitalize the word my, chi my child. That's not his child either. See, that's what I'm saying. That your, your, your thinking is going to cause you a lot of heartache and headache in your relationships. And then to say you don't have to get a child his last name, that's going to cause even more problems in your relationship. You're not thinking right. Well, I don't know if you are thinking or not, but you this is some dumbass thinking. This is why I say women just wants, wants to get by only on their looks and their sexual activities. Because a, a mind like this should not be in this world. It's funny that social media and the internet is bringing out who people really are. And you can see who they really are in these, uh, you know what I'm saying, it, on the social media and the internet. Because having a dumb statement like this is ridiculous. So let's just let's just flip this around. Let's just say a man was saying he don't have to give his woman a ring because he paid for the ring. It's his. He don't have to give you nothing. Uh, uh, you know, even if we do get married, I still don't have to do anything for her, be there for her, you know, whatever. You can't sit here and say that you wouldn't have something negative to say about that. Look here. She contradicts herself at the beginning and at the end. If we're not married, it's my child, and I don't have to give my child that I care for nine months the last name of a man who ain't my husband. Then I'm going to go ahead and skip to the, to the end. Even if we are married, I don't need to give my kids my husband's last name. That's kind of contradictive. You just said if you're not married, you don't have to. Then you're going to say, even if we are married, I don't have to. Do you understand the word? That's why I say I think women are making this stuff up just to get some kind of attention. Because there's no way you can be this dumb, this full of drama, this, this kind of dumb mindset. You would think some little five, ten-year-olds probably said some crap like this. Not no, going by this picture, look like she's an adult. Adult full of makeup. I, call, I like to call makeup war paint because, uh, no. Anyway, you can't sit here and tell me that this is okay for you to think this way. There's no way on God's green earth that this is okay. See, look, at the end of the day, man, Miss Keisha BG at Bratz 2021, good luck in all your relationships because you're going to have a lot of drama and a lot of headache. I'm telling you that right now. I'm going to just tell you right now. I already know what a lot of guys are thinking. They're going to be like, well, is this baby mine? How come I can't get the uh, last name? How come my child can't carry on my last name, my legacy? So even if you get a DNA test and you prove that the child is his, why bring up all that drama? Why cause all that drama in your, in your life that don't need to be there? That's what people don't think about. You don't think about what you don't, the drama that's going to happen on your, based on your actions, I should say. Because if you, if you think about it, 
you wouldn't have to go through all this. You wouldn't have to do these things. You see what I'm saying? Let's just say uh, your boss made you mad, so you quit your job. Now you you can't work, you can't eat. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no place to live. You create more stress on yourself and your kids. Well, if you didn't quit your job, you wouldn't have that problem. My point in saying all that is this kind of thinking ain't doing nothing but causing drama in the future. That's why I say good luck in all your relationships because that's all you're going to to do. You're not going to have no successful relationship. You're not. And it might, might not, might not be long term. With thinking like this, mm -mm. that's why I say I'm, the social media and the internet has brought out people's real personalities and how they really think. Because even if you got common sense and you don't really think this way, you shouldn't even said no dumb shit like this. So what if men think this way? What you gonna say or do then? Uh, uh, oh, he's a horrible person. Why would he say something like that? You already know how it goes when it's a man, but as a woman. Oh, it's okay. It's cool. Yeah, whatever. All I'm saying is this here. Keisha BG, you dumb. You stupid. This is your boy, man. Up. I'm chucking a deuce. I highlight you.